Hello guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. Today, today is a gloomy day outside, but that means the light is better than yesterday, yesterday, than last week's food shopping haul. Today, it is a food shopping haul, so welcome. I'm gonna go through my shopping, I'm gonna take it out of the bags and show you it as I go, because this is like such a lazy way to do it, as opposed to setting it all out on the worktops or on your table or whatever. I used to do a table in my old house, have like a kitchen diner now i have like a living room diner personally i prefer a kitchen diner but oh well what you gonna do anyway yeah so that was a little bit of a tangent but i'm gonna take everything out of the bags show you what i got and then i'm gonna turn the camera off and put all the shopping away and i've got a lot of cooking to get done today a lot of like meal prepping stuff for the week yeah i'm gonna get it all done today i went to Lidl. dog's having a heart attack because she thinks i'm somebody else i don't know I went to Lidl, I spent £56, not shown here are um, two chocolate hazelnut croissants, croissants and a top of yum yum because the kids ate them in the car. So let me go through and show you what I got. So first up I got these multi-grain crackers. These ones don't have, as far as I can see, they don't have any milk or anything so I'm not saying they're vegan because sometimes the things that's in it like vitamins, certain vitamins come from like is it vitamin D3 comes from sheep's wool or something? So that ain't vegan. We are not a vegan family, let me preface that. We're not vegan. We try and not eat a lot of meat. I don't feed a lot of meat to my kids or to my husband. I do eat meat. Um, I would rather not eat meat, but I'm doing keto at the moment and keto is really helping me lose weight. So once I've lost my weight, I really will not eat meat or dairy products either. So it's really only me that eats them. So when you see the stuff in the hole, it's really only for me. So if you're like, why don't you have a lot of meat that is why so yeah these crackers they don't look like they have anything in them so you know they could be suitable for veg uh, they are suitable for vegetarians they could be suitable for vegans they're nice they've got a little like um onion powder in them they're nice anyway that was random sorry a bag of granny smith apples I got a jar of honey i use this for this is obviously not vegan because it comes from an animal like an animal makes this and i use i only use honey um for protein balls that's all i use it for then i got one jar of strawberry jam two jars of strawberry jam one for just now and one to put away in my food storage some soy sauce i'm gonna make sky big batch of fried rice i say fried rice i don't actually fry it it's just like boiled rice with vegetables and then this some sesame oil some garlic um she has that before she goes swimming because it's got the carbs in it it's got um veggies in it it's good for her swimming is back sky swims for a big club and it's it's back it was off for two weeks for summer but now it's back some energy drink for thomas some antibacterial washing up liquid let's see what else do we have milk chocolate chips to make cookies i did tr get another one of them but they must be in a different bag some this is a dual chocolate spread i told her girl just to pick like chocolate spread and they picked this so i was like whatever i don't even care <laughs> some madagascan vanilla extract i wonder what this smells like i bought cheap vanilla extract which was about the same price from home bargains and it smells so artificial like it smells terrible this smells a lot better. This smells a lot better. This was 65 pence and this is actual extract. It's not essence, which is the fake stuff. It's extract, which is real gravy for sausage and mash we're having this week. Right, one bag done. Next bag. Let's keep going. I've got some toilet rolls. I don't always buy toilet rolls from Lidl. I quite often just buy a big, huge thing of them from Costco. But I'm not going to Costco this week, so I need, we need a toilet roll. Broccoli. Little easy peelers, some Bray Barn apples. Now, I asked her girl to get me some bananas. <laughs> he got me this many. I'm I'm cool with that because we do actually eat a lot of bananas in our house. Some medium oranges and one cucumber. Two cucumbers. Can you go wrong with cucumbers? <laughs> right, next bag. Let's do. One jar, one jar, this is a carton. Welcome to Paula's class. One carton, two cartons. Oh man, there is a third, but where is it? I don't know. A leaflet, these are the offers this weekend for the deals, good ones. A cheddar cheese if you eat, 
if you eat cheese yeah i was gonna say if you eat milk no cheddar cheese was 179 99 pence good stuff um a chicken breast joint 249 now 169 alcohol i don't drink alcohol some bathroom drain plug hole unclogger i don't know what that is 99 pence and bin bags 99 pence if you're interested in that some chocolate digestives the other bag of chocolate chips some basmati rice i used to buy this didn't like it so i bought the more expensive one and it's not bad on a challenge video i did a while ago i think it was like feed my family for 10 pounds or something like or 15 pounds i bought this actually see if you cook it right it's not bad at all not bad at all then i got four kiwis for oban she's the only one that likes kiwis in her house and then a can of energy drink and some tomato puree okay next bag we have got one teddy wearing clothes not from little <laughs> i got these kind of like giant shells can you see them i'm not going to pronounce it well i'm Gonna try. I'm gonna try conchigalone. Conchigalone. Do we think that's how you say it? I think not. These are giant pasta shells. I'm gonna stuff them with. Um, normally we stuff them with mince, like minced beef or ground beef, if you're across the pond. But we don't really. The kids don't really eat meat. So what I will do is onions, carrots, finely chopped in a pan. Saute them off, garlic, and then a tin of chickpeas mash it so you can't really tell that it's chickpeas and then mix it with my own sauce i make from this and herbs and tomato puree and all that jazz and then stuff them in these shells and then put some more of the sauce on top a little bit of cheese because cheese will help them eat it and then put them in the oven and bake them so you already you cook these like al dente you don't want them totally cooked because you're going to cook them again in the oven anyway i thought it looked good you can google or pinterest stuff shell recipes and you can get loads of different ones but these are where only stuff sh no, these aren't stuffed shells these were the only big shells that little had so don't be like oh you gone fancy no i'm i'm not i'm really not okay next up in the bag a loaf of bread a bag of bagels i got another loaf of bread and you'll be like polly you just bought bread i know this is only 20 pence goes out of date today this will be eaten today and it is hovis soft whites some potato scones or i don't know just some i've seen a recipe once and someone called these irish potato cakes no these are tatty scones i don't know what what world you're living in they're not irish potato cakes they're tatty scones uh 20 pence they go out date today as well i will freeze them and we will eat them some point during the week a bag of pistachios i got this for my medicine cupboard they are like throat lozenges kind of similar to strepsils these they had strepsils in Lidl and the price per lozenge that's they was for the little ones was less than half the price compared to the strepsil ones so i've used these before i think they work as well as throat strepsil lozenge things can do definitely give them a try they're like one pound 30 they're ridiculously cheap they also have like a honey and lemon one good for keeping in your medicine box i have learned over the years you should keep a medicine box prepped with things regardless of if you need them so you should have on hand ibuprofen paracetamol obviously like check these things with your doctor don't like be like oh paul said ibuprofen paracetamol things like this diarrhea tablets that does not sound good but you need that kind of stuff in your house kids medicine um hay fever tablets a variety of plasters germaline the stuff for if bees stings you i can't remember what it's called like if wasps sting you that stuff you just need so many different things i also have tweezers um those like nasal spray <laughs> those nasal sprays you know when you're not well and you go the do you know what it's kind of like eucalyptus -y. them a whole variety of things i have in my medicine box now that two years ago i would never have had i really don't think about it so nobody has a sore throat but these are handy that was the point in that i got two packets of wraps one because it's like handy to have in case you didn't know that and two i'm making um a big tree of enchiladas again i use like chickpeas instead of meat nobody really knows and i make my own enchilada sauce as well second last bag this is the tin one so it's kind of heavy we have got a big giant pineapple this one looks really good next up a four tin four tin a four pack of baked beans then i got one two 
You're in here. I know you're in here. Three, four tens of chickpeas, a ten of kidney beans for my dog, some toilet bleach for my toilet. You know how it is. Right, last bag. This is my big one. This bag I got from Costco and I love it. It's a cool bag. I wish all my bags were like this. It wasn't expensive, but it was expensive compared to like a bag like this. Obviously though, you can tell because it's like a cool bag and it's really thick and it's it's good quality. Definitely if you have a Costco card, I'm in here somewhere. If you have a Costco card, I would, I would recommend getting one. They are good. Okay, so I got seven packs of these chicken noodles. Don't be like, Paula, man, your family is going to die. I know, but only two are for just now. And then five are for in my food cupboard. I need another one. I did buy another one. Can't find it, but I did. Oh, there it is. No, it's not. That's that's the noodles I already took out the bag. I've got four more here, but there is another one somewhere. Um, I need to put in my food storage, as I said. Some romaine hearts. Some pizza pizza. This is just a three pack of margarita. They're nice. They do need, in my opinion, a little bit extra cheese on it. The other carton of passata. The other pack of noodles. These are the chicken ones. The kids like them. Two packets to them for their lunch. And then I put a bowl of cucumber and a bowl of carrots and they're super happy. Like raw carrots. I was going to say raw cucumber, but you don't cook cucumber. Soft cheese. Got these for Thomas. These are the Alpro dark chocolate like soy desserts. See if they did them in other flavours, like not just dark chocolate, but milk chocolate. I would get more of them for sure. They're only like pound thirty or something in Lidl, which I think is pretty good for a four pack. And they're shelf stable. Some bacon. I didn't get any eggs this week because they didn't have any. There was like a big shortage and then there was this man standing away and he was looking at them all. I don't know what was going on. So I just walked on by the eggs. Two packets of minced beef. One for me, I'm gonna make a chilli. Um, to eat and then what I do is I make like four portions of it and then that does me for four nights and then I've got some other meals in the freezer and I'll just kind of either eat this for four nights in a row it really doesn't bother me or I will freeze some and then mix them up with the things I've got in the freezer and then the other mince is for my dog because she gets homemade dog food and then I got a block of cheese this cheese oh this cheese is really really nice it is the mature white cheddar and it's like four pound for this big huge block this is 900 grams so just short of a kilo or what would that be in like american money i don't know two pounds about two pounds almost two pounds in weight not two pounds in money <laughs> and then i got some smoky pork sausage i'm making like a potato soup kind of thing and i'm just gonna put this in it instead of last time i used um a big gammon joint but i'm just gonna use this for ease and the kids really like this and then blueberries and then last but not least a punnet of red grapes and that's the whole oh no wait there's one thing left i tricked you and me dark chocolate this doesn't have any milk in it either and this is for in my protein balls and that's it guys I hope you like my haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If the comments are on, this is like my little like sales pitch bit. If the comments are on, leave me a lovely comment. That would be fabulous. If they're not on, then what, what are you gonna do? I don't know. You can go over to my Instagram, comment over there. Some people do that. Or sometimes, if I remember, I leave a, like a tab thing on the community bit. To, no, a question app. I don't know, see that community bit that's on my page. Sometimes I leave a thing there and you can comment there, but I don't always remember because it's it's a lot of, it's a lot going on. I've got three kids, three homeschool kids. I've got a lot going on. But yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. Tomorrow, come back for a regular video and I will see you then, guys. Bye. We love you so much. I really do appreciate everyone that watches, guys. I know I don't see it all the time because you're probably like, you just said this. But I really do appreciate when you watch my videos and when you give them thumbs up. And if comments are on, I really appreciate that when you leave comments it really does help me out same as over on instagram when you, you don't thumbs up pictures on instagram you give them love hearts when you heart my videos i really do appreciate it it really helps me it helps me grow but anyway thank you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye